I just did the, uh, yesterday I did the uh, front band adjustment on my 98 Dakota with a 44 RE transmission. Um, it's probably a 97 transmission because they were mixing parts on that model. Mine uses the flat, uh, the very flat, the FT1039 uh, transmission filter. Um, anyways, so uh, I figured out how to do the front band adjustment without removing anything and I thought I'd share in case any of you are looking to do that. It's actually not that bad. Um, anyways, I'll show you what I did. So um, you'll need a three-quarter deep socket. I use this one to uh, break the lock nut and also to tighten it back down. On my truck, um, it's not a star um, bolt for the uh, adjustment screw. It's a 5 16 and I used a 5 16 multi-point socket to get to it a uh, quarter. Um, I used a quarter because my inch-pound um, torque wrench is quarter. And I don't know which one of these two extensions I use. I used one of them. Um, and then I used one of these um, quarter uh, drivers. And then make sure it has the um, place where you can put a ratchet on the end. And then I, you want to mark one side. I used um, some old fingernail polish from my wife's because it sticks on there real good. Um, is so as you're turning it, it's easier to see. I imagine you could maybe mark on here um, on your ratchet end, but I wanted something bigger so it's really obvious. Because as you're backing off, right, maybe you tighten down to 72 inch pounds and then you have to back off two turns, right? So you go one, then two, and then a quarter is uh, just 90 degrees. So it's, I, for me, it was easier to see on that. And then of course the quarter inch ratchet, because once you tighten it down to um, 72 inch pounds. There's no way you can turn this by hand. So you use that to uh, Turn it and get it to where you want and then you'll need an offset wrench like this I used a 19 because I don't have a three-quarter offset like this um, Night you know three quarters 19.05 millimeters So it was close enough, but that could be why it didn't fit on there real well um, If you have one with a little bit deeper offset that might be better because um, it does have to kind of reach around the transmission to get down in there but um so those are all the tools I used. Um, is there anything else? Okay, let me go underneath and show you. Hopefully you can see everything. My phone is, the focus isn't so great. So the first thing you want to do uh, is on the adjustment screw, right over here, right here. Oh gosh, can I do it without blocking all the light? Right back there. Um, clean that thing thoroughly. Get all the grime and gunk and just lube that thing like crazy because um, you want to get it to the point where you can turn that lock nut easily by hand so then even once you break it and you you know you loosen it and you start working the nut up make sure you spray down that screw really good and try to get it you know work the lock nut up and down until that thing moves really easily um, it'll make your life so much easier at the end um, one thing you want to do too is you want to um, uh, push your throttle all the way down with something so you want to you want to get that thing out of the way like that. So if you push your throttle all the way, you can get it, that out of the way. And then um, I removed the spring there. I don't recommend doing that. I don't think I really needed to do it, but uh, it was a real pain in the butt to put that spring back on. So um, now I had the, the transmission cooler. You can see the coolant line right there. Um, I didn't have to take him off. Uh, in fact, I didn't have to take anything off. Um, but here, let me show you one other thing. So uh, what was I going to say? Oh, I did have to, there's like a uh, uh, this heat shield pan. I did have to bend that up to get the tools in there. And then I just bent it down, back down when I was done. Um, hold on a sec. So once you break the, the lock nut and you and you do your, you tighten it down, you know, it does 72 inch pounds and then back off two and a quarter, then you can slip this guy over like this. And, uh, and you can just slowly, um, you'll still have your screwdriver attachment, so you need to put this on first and then put your screwdriver attachment and then just using you have to one hand you have to hold that thing steady and then in this hand you can you can manually tighten down the lock nut um, and then I once I did that I got it as snug as I could and then I put the torque wrench on there and when I moved it uh, it didn't move at all I don't know if you can see I put a uh, I took use some fingernail polish and I put a mark on the on the screw there so once you get it all cleaned up then I took some uh, rubbing alcohol and I cleaned off the top of it and then I put a dab of that nail polish on there and then I used a, um, a heat gun or you could use a hair dryer to dry it real quick and uh, it took a lot of abuse it didn't come off I mean I was banging into it and stuff like that and it stayed right on there so that's real helpful 
to let you know if you've uh, if you've turned that thing or not as you're doing stuff. So okay, well I can't think of anything else. So um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave one in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you. And I hope this helped. I ended at two or so. One thing I forgot to mention on that when you do the torque, the 72 inch pounds. I, the first time you do it, I would torque past that point. I'd go maybe a half turn past that point, then back off like a full turn, and then go back at it again and retorque it exactly to where it should be. And then uh, take the socket off, look and see where your dot is, and then back off again, another like a full turn, then come back at it again, and make sure the dot matches up um, between the second and third times. For me, the, between the first and second times, it didn't match up. So, um, so that's why I did it two more times, and then for me, the second and third time, it matched right up. So um, I think that's it. Okay, this time for real. Okay, one last final final note: don't be uh, don't be shy with the lube on that thing. Keep it that thing as clean as you can and as lubed as you can, because you really want that lock nut to spin easily. It'll make your life so much easier. I didn't do that, and I, I really it took me much longer to do it. And I wished I would have done that to begin with.